right, so we have today's Sunday case study. It is a 45-year-old male who presents with a long history of back pain. He's had back pain for a number of years and it's just gotten worse as time has gone on. And he's began to develop sciatic type pain into both legs, but worse on the left side. Here is his x-ray. Here is a flexion x-ray. So this is with him leaning forward. And here is the extension x-ray, so basically leaning backwards and taking an x-ray. Here is the MRI scan of his low back. Here is the axial MRI, if that matters. So this is a very common problem I see in my practice every day. So my questions for you is, what's the diagnosis? and what's the surgical treatment. Make a comment with your answers. Come back to my profile tomorrow and in the answers to this video, I will copy uh, and upload a video with the answers. All right, thanks. I'm going to go through the answers to the case study of the 45 year old male with back pain. I showed these x-rays and what I want to point out is these are the vertebral bodies or the bones in our spine and then these spaces here are the discs. Here that's a normal disc. So what we see is this uh, degenerative disc, and then also there's a slippage of the vertebrae on here. So this is the back of the L5, and this is the back of the S1. So there's a step off. If we measure that, it measures 15 millimeters. On the flexion films, when he leans forward, it goes up to 18 millimeters. So the bones in our spine should typically be aligned one on top of the other and there should be a straight line where these guys line up. Now this condition where one is shifted forward on the other one is called a spondylolisthesis and that's where you might hear of a term called a slip vertebrae or a slip dip. So you can imagine if this is a model of our spine and this was shifted forward on this, the areas where our nerve comes out gets pinched forward and shifted and pulled forward with the vertebrae that's forward. We grade them as grade one, two, three, four, and five, but to keep it simple, this is a grade two spondylolisthesis. The level is L5 and S1. So that's the answer to the first question. And the second question I had is what surgical treatments are indicated? Of course, we try the non-surgical treatments, we try therapy, we try shots, but honestly, a grade two spondylolisthesis that's already become symptomatic at such a young age probably will need surgical correction. The goal of any operation on the spine that involves spinal fusion is to realign the spine. So in other words, we want to restore the natural curvature of the spine. We want to restore the disc height. So where that disc is super collapsed, we want to restore the height back or our jacket back up. And then in addition to that, we want to pull those vertebrae. So instead of being shifted forward, we want to lift it up and shift it back into place and then lock it into place. This is a visualization or a cartoon of a spondylolisthesis. So you can see where this vertebrae is shifted on the other. In my opinion, the best way to solve these kind of cases is a front back spinal fusion. And I'll kind of go through why that is. This is an online picture I found that depicts what an anterior approach is. So you see this spondylolisthesis here and then correction, basically by restoring the height, restoring the lordosis or the curvature of the spine and restoring the alignment. Because this slippage is mobile or moves, like I showed you in the flexion extension films, it really needs posterior stabilization as well. Uh, and laminectomy alone, which some of you suggested, is not okay because it will further destabilize the spine. Here's the final x-ray of this patient's. 